A lot of you guys have been asking me to go to the Clown Motel. It's not just clowns that frighten the motel guests there. You've never seen a place like this. Welcome to the Clown Motel. Do you think it's haunted? Do you think it's connected to the graveyard outside? Yes. We are located on top of a graveyard. The motel was built next to a cemetery that's more than 100 years old. I didn't get to fit. <laughs> The Clown Motel all started in 1985 when Leona and Leroy David built this motel in loving memory of their father, Clarence David. Clarence David was a man who loved clowns. He actually had a collection of 150 clowns left in his home. The David siblings then decided to use all the clowns that he left behind as the theme for the motel in memory of their father. In 1995, Bob and Deborah Pacchetti bought the Clown Motel when it went up for sale after the previous owner owned it for a whole decade. Bob then ran the motel for 22 years before he retired and decided to sell the motel for $900,000 to the Mihar family. The current owner sent their younger brother Hayne all the way to the USA to run this motel because it was his dream. Hayne also loved collecting clowns and he had a clown collection of his own going since he was 14 years old so he knew that he'd be perfect to take over this motel. Since Hayne took over this hotel, he grew the clown collection from 600 clowns all the way to over 3,000 clowns and it's still growing to this day. And now to this day, the clown motel has been seen and known worldwide. YouTubers, ghost hunters, and news channels have went all the way out to the small town of Tonopah, Nevada just to see this motel along with the hauntings that it carries. A lot of the hauntings connected to this hotel are connected to the graveyard that it's built alongside next to. This graveyard contains over 60 buried individuals from Tonopah who many happen to be miners who died in tragic ways including a fire. On top of that this motel has haunted rooms and one of the most haunted rooms happens to be room 108. Rumor has it in this room people have seen shadow figures, an apparition of a full ghost clown, the toilet flushes by itself, the sink runs by itself, doors slam, footsteps are heard, and even voices appear in the middle of the night and shadow figures fly across the room. Also, this motel back in the early days when it was running used to be used for terminally ill patients. One of those individuals who was terminally ill stayed in room 108 and happened to be the desk manager at the time who stayed in this room and right before he died he was in room 108. This hotel has many legends, mysteries, and unknown unforeseen hauntings attached to it. And today guys, we are going to see for ourselves. So guys, today a lot of you guys have been asking me to go to the Clown Motel. So today I'm bringing my best friend. Uh, <laughs> Are you excited or nervous? Dun, dun, dun. I'm nervous? so nervous. <laughs> the whole thing is haunted. And it has a lot of clowns inside of it. And not only that, we're driving three hours all the way out from Las Vegas to go to this motel in the middle of Tonopah, Nevada. So let's get to it. Alright guys, so we are super close to pulling up to the Clown Motel right now. We're only like two minutes away. Only two minutes away. It's so close and I've always wanted to see this place. This has been on my bucket list for so long. I'm so excited. Look at the desert. I, I, I don't mean to interrupt you, but it's right there. It's right there? Oh, it's right there. There it is. Okay, there's nothing on here. Wait, is that the graveyard over there? <gasps> oh, I see the graveyard. Yeah, that's a big graveyard. Whoa. Okay, we're here, we're here. Clown Motel. Clown Motel, and it's haunted. Oh gosh, this is gonna be quite the night. I'm scared. Me too. That sign is creepy. The graveyard, oh my gosh, look at all those graves. We're gonna be sleeping. Sleeping right, right on a graveyard? Literally right Real beside famous. it. Uh -huh. All right, whoa, okay. We're in for it. This is gonna be the night. Will we survive? I don't know. So I am here with Haim, hello. Hi. And how long have you been working here for? Uh, three years. Three years, do you enjoy it here? Oh, yes, I love it. And I'm guessing you like clowns, right? Yes, I love clowns. So I'm curious, Hayn, what is the creepiest experience you've had here working alone, if you have any? I don't have any really scary, scary stuff. Yeah. But when people are here, like seven, eight people are here. Yeah. They're walking, talking, chattering, you know, and, and touching their stuff. Yeah. And even they leave. Yeah. I can still hear them. Sometimes I confuse. I say they were here. I mean, they just left and really I can hear them. No way. Yeah. So this confusion. And if you thought there were spirits here, do you think they're friendly or do you think they they're? They're very friendly. If you think it's haunted, do you think it's like connected to the graveyard outside? Yes. yes. And then what was the history of the graveyard? So graveyard is for miners and the miners and their family. And do you know how many people are buried back there? I think so, 60 or 70 people. That's a lot of people. That's crazy. Okay. People come here for fun, you know. People come from Europe. Yeah. Uh, stay to, you know, from Vegas to rent a car, come here for one night, go back to their country. 
Yeah. I mean, it's so crazy. And Cause you have people from like all over and most people they come here for the hauntings right yes that's pretty awesome thank you so much okay. it was wonderful thank meeting you, you. Thank, you, thank you okay guys so we are in the gift shop right now and if you guys did not notice there are thousands of clowns in here all around us and some of these dolls apparently on the wall here are haunted rumor has it people bring in their dolls that they don't want anymore or haunted clown dolls and then they set them on the shelf to reside here in the clown motel where they belong do you feel like they're scary uh, a lot of them are really cute, but some of them are okay. You need to crease when I look at them. Clown right here, it says, in memory of Donna Margaret, Olive Curtis Lisa. And she dropped out her clown, uh, and she passed away in 2019. That's but so this sad. is the clown that she owned. This lady right here apparently donated all 350 clowns. What? After having a paranormal investigation. But there are so many. And we have the rods, so I'm going to see if we get any paranormal activity right now or if anything wants to communicate. Are there any spirits here that would like to communicate? If so, can you cross the rods? Okay. They immediately crossed. Are there any spirits in here attached to any of these clown dolls? If so, cross the rods. <gasps> That was fast! If you guys like me, can you cross the rods? If not, open the- <gasps> Stop! Stop! They don't like me! They like you! I don't think they'll like me! Do you like my best friend Alex? If so, can you cross the rods? They like you! They don't like me! I'm scared. Do you guys want me to leave? Cross the rods if- <gasps> That was so fast! <laughs> So, looking around, there's a lot of interesting clown dolls that we're just pointing out. One that caught my eye specifically is this one right here. <gasps> oh, I didn't even see its mouth. Yeah, look at its mouth. It looks like it was hand-painted or something. You it's kind of scary. A lot of the clowns here look like they're handmade. Like, this one has a note saying that it is handmade. Oh, is it? Oh, wow. Is that like other ones that the creator had made? I guess so. This looks like it's a secret door and it has little eye holes. Yeah, so like people can spy on us through those little peoples. I don't even know what they're there for. I don't know either. I don't want to know. Look at this one. It's a dancing clown. Do you pull it? It does a little dance. So cute. So cute. So right here is a tree with clowns hanging from it. They're kind of cute. And then even scarier is on Ghost Adventures, this clown right here in the middle actually moved its hand in an investigation. So this hand right here is actually missing a finger, but it completely slid off during a ghost investigation, so. Yeah, I think it was like laying on its leg at the time, like this. Yeah, just like that. Oh, um, it's definitely on it. Well, I do want to mention and cut into this video randomly that while I was staying at the Clown Motel, I got super duper sick and I am still sick. I don't know if you guys could tell, but my voice has been shot out. And even weirder, when we first got there, my best friend actually felt really sick too and she felt like she was going to throw up, especially when she walked into room 108. I just thought that the energy was a little off and so did all of our friends who went with us. We all just felt that there was a heavy energy energy there and when we were ghost hunting something didn't want us to be there okay guys so it is nighttime and we are going to be sleeping in the most haunted room in this motel what room is this room 108 and, and it's pennywise pennywise oh you love pennywise i love pennywise is this why you wanted me to come yes okay so <laughs> this room has legends of shadow figures strange noises the sink goes on and off by itself some people say the toilet even flushes so we're yeah. gonna check it out and see what's so scary let's go take a look okay let's go take a look at this room Okay. You love Pennywise. This is why you did this to us. Oh my god! Stop! Whoa! There's a Pennywise girl on the wall. There's more Pennywise. Is that Pennywise? Who's that one? It's an ugly clown. Clown? I don't like That's that. That's not one. Pennywise, but I don't like it. Okay. It's almost like life size. Am I taller? This is gonna stare at you when you go to bed. I'm you not, no, I'm not sleeping You're there. Sleeping You're sleeping there. there. You're sleeping there. You love Pennywise. Even weirder is this like skull here. Why is, it, why is it turned around? <laughs> what the heck? Oh. Why do I have this in That's here? Nice. Okay, well, this okay. is going to be a really fun night. <laughs> Okay guys, so we are now doing a nighttime investigation in the most haunted room in this motel. Are you 
What's going on? things behind us. That painting gives me the spooks for real. I don't like it. There's so many clouds on the wall. It's pretty late right now. We're in our cozy attire. We have the rods here. We have the REM pod. Do you want to show them how that works? Right. So the REM pod, see, whenever I turn it on, this can uh, sense a change of temperature or motion. So if anything wow. walks near it, it'll do that. This is like the first time I've actually done like ghost hunting with equipment on really? my channel. <laughs> and like you know a lot about it, so I'm really excited. And then what's this one, Alex? This one oh, right here? Oh, this is a music box. No way. Yeah, so this works exactly like this. Okay. But it's, it's even cooler because, so you turn it on and then it has a little light on. So anytime something walks in front of it, oh, it adds, that's so cool. Yeah, it makes music. That's actually scary, but like in a cool way. <laughs> I actually want that to go off. That'd be so cool if we can get like a spirit to like set that off. Oh yeah. So where should we put these? All right, I think we should put this one like right here, maybe. Do you want to put this music box over yeah. there? Put it right Just so we know that I'm not gonna accidentally walk over or anything. Put it on top. Okay, right up there. Alright, right the switch. Alright, so I am going to start with the rods and I'm going to ask some questions and we can take turns to see if the spirit that is haunting this room wants to communicate with us. If there is any spirits in here, can you open the rods? <laughs> it started doing it. It's like it already knew what you were going to ask. This one's still going. <laughs> if there are any spirits in this room, whenever we get to the number, could you please cross the rods to let us know oh. how many of you are in here? Is there one spirit in this room? Two? There's what? two. two. That moves so fast, and I did not move that. Wow. Okay, oh. if there's any of the two spirits here with us, can you touch the REM pod? Or can you light off the music box to show us that you're here? Maybe they're shy. <laughs> That's sad. That sounded That's so sad. That's one sign. Maybe you should ask them if... They lived here okay. in Tonopah. Can you guys cross the rods if you are from Tonopah? Oh, they are from here. Maybe they're from like the miners they're or the graveyard. Maybe they're the miners. It's crazy. <laughs> Were you guys miner? Wow, you didn't even finish it. I didn't get to finish. <laughs> <laughs> that actually scared me, but I think that was us. I think uh, that was, was us. It? I think so. I think it was <laughs> the camera, right? I don't know, but I'm scared. Yeah, I think it's the camera. Whoa! Stay back. <laughs> that, that would have been that so actually scary. scared me out. This motel looks so creepy at night. Is it as scary as you thought it's it'd so be? It's so scary, especially <sighs> at night time. I didn't expect the vibes to be like so like colorful and fun, but it definitely has like an eerie under feeling. And the craziest part about all of this is that we are located on top of a graveyard. So basically show them the rooms right here. All of these rooms right here are all themed to different clowns. But we're gonna see if this place is haunted. So let's head to the graveyard and do some investigating. Oh, okay. You excited? I'm scared. I'm scared too. This is the Tonopah Cemetery, 1901 through 1911. And the craziest thing about this cemetery is that most of the people or locals that are buried were actually killed in a tragic mining incident. And rumor has it that a lot of their spirits still lurk inside of this clown motel every single night. Okay guys, so now we're gonna do some investigating. I'm super scared. How do you feel about the energy right now? I, I don't know, I feel really weird right now. You know that feeling of like when someone's like watching over your shoulder? I feel like something's like lurking and I don't know how to explain it. It's kind of eerie. Hello spirit, my name is Alex and this is Lizzie. Hello. We are here and we come here with full respect. We do not mean any harm and we wish to communicate with you. If there is anyone here with us, could you please cross the rods? Stop! No! You did you not move that? No, I didn't move that. That was the fastest like rod turn no, that I've seen. It was so steady and then they just moved. Okay, I'm gonna try this. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm nervous. Okay, so I'm not gonna be moving these at all. This will be all just real. I'm gonna steadily balance these. Do you guys enjoy this motel with the clowns? If so, cross it, please. Oh, they do. Oh, they like it. Were there more than one spirit that grew up in Tonopah? If so, big that was, that was fast. so fast. It didn't even let me finish my question. No, it, it just knew right away. So a lot of them are from just the city. I'm scared. 
Now I'm like looking around like paranoid. Hello, is there any spirits here that would like to talk? Did it say me? I think it's I heard me. Me and me. How many spirits are here tonight with us? Nine? Did you hear that? <laughs> that was really clear. Do you have anything you'd like to ask them? What did you enjoy doing on your free time? <laughs> what? Did you not hear your name? It said my name? Yes. I'm not kidding. It said it three times in a row. Can you say my name again? Stop! Stop! It said my name. I swear. Okay, I'm actually getting the chills right now. I don't like this. I don't like this. Can you say my friend's name? No. Why did it get colder? It's really cold right now. All of a sudden, I'm getting like chills on my body. What'd you hear? I heard quite a bit. Where are we right now? It repeated what you asked. Clown Motel? What? It just said haunted. Haunted? It did say haunted. Where are we? Do you know what this place is called? It's hard to like make out what they're saying, but there's so many words that like. If you guys hear something, go back and comment it down below. Do you want us to leave? If so, could you please cross the rods? Okay, I can confirm this place is haunted. Okay, we're going to respectfully leave. I'm going to stop the communication. Thank you, spirits, for having us. I don't feel like they want to talk right now. Then again, I feel like it's pretty late and this is their resting spot, so I'm going to be respectful of it. But... Um, yeah, that was quite the communication. Well, how did you feel about that? I, I, it's cold and I'm scared. I'm scared too! So, it is the next morning. We survived the whole night in 108. What did you think Surprising. about it? Surprising. It was so scary. And then I got sick, which is kind of scary. Alex, how did you feel overnight? Me too. I also felt like I was going to throw up. The energy was super heavy. Um, I didn't see anything, but now that I'm sick, kind of wondering a little bit. Me too. But it was a night to remember and it was horrifying. I definitely think this motel is for sure haunted and there is a lot of spirits and energy and emotion that I felt while I was filming this video and spending the night there. But I will say, what a cool place to investigate and check out, guys. Let me know in the comments down below, would you guys spend a whole night in the most haunted room at the Clown Motel? And if this video gets to, I'm gonna say 50,000 likes because I don't think we'll get to 50,000 thousand likes but if it were to get to 50,000 likes maybe me and my best friend will go back to the clown motel also if you guys enjoyed today's video be sure to hit that subscribe button and join the family because I'm going to be posting more ghost hunting videos in the next few coming months because I love filming this kind of content and I missed filming this kind of content so much it is so fun and there's so many cool places I'm gonna go check out so be sure to hit the subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on my future content anyways guys I hope you guys enjoyed today's investigation slash video and I'll see all of you lovely people in the next one Bye guys!